evening folks right we're back in the studio um now if you saw the last video i did a breakdown of every at the end of time by the caretaker so just following on from that and yeah i'll, I'll, I'll link up to that video there there somewhere um as a follow-up to that i thought it'd be interesting to try and make a style make us <laughs> make a style make a track in the style of the caretaker um there's no, i mean there's very little value in simply just just uh just take these off just 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 copying somebody um but i mean i'm generally this is sort of quite interesting uh this uh, how the caretaker puts his tracks together uh, well, I mean I don't know how he puts his tracks together I've got, I've got, I've got a theory so I thought it'd be interesting to sort of uh, experiment with that and uh, and film it uh, for you good folks out there all right let's get on with it. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a bit of jazz music or whatever style you want to mangle so I've got a piece of music called The Good Earth by Woody Herman let's just have a listen snippet of this that's cool Now in Reaper, it's uh, we've got some really easy options uh, for for just sort of s slowing this down or speeding it up. Um, so if we just right click and go to Item Properties, we can go to the playback rate and we can just literally just type in um, the rate we want, so that we can play it back at basically at half speed, 0.5 speed. There we go. And, you know, we can go as crazy with this as we want. So we can go a tenth speed, so that's point 0.1. Um, it's just I'll just set this back to the original. Um, the the sh the quick shortcut for doing this, if you go to the end of the WAV file where you get that kind of you know the the icon changes. If you hold on on a Mac, it's Alt, but on hang on Windows, it's Control or uh, Shift. Maybe um, I'm not sure. You'd have to just, just just experiment. What you want is the hand. And then you can just drag this and you can see from that yellow indicator bar, you know, so because I'm dragging it in this case sort of to the left, it's, it's it's increasing the playback rate. Then I could drag this out. Um, <laughs> there's a whole lot of other stuff here. But as, you, as, as you'll see from um, that yellow indication box, yeah, I'm about 0.55 here. And you can just, you know, do this by eye or just just, just do that until it until until you get the kind of sound that you want. go so i think i'm going to leave this set to 0.2 for the next sort of <laughs> next few experiments okay so we've seen uh how we can easily slow it down so it's now set to 0.2 now if you want to give it a bit more of a vinyl feel uh the the go-to effect is isotope vinyl uh which used to be a free download um let's just set all these back uh it's normal um so even just the most the most simple thing is just using this kind of year filter this can have a quite a radical effect on the sound but also quite quite musical hang on let's, let's set this back playing at normal speed just so you can hear how the isotope vinyl effect is working so 2000 and just some dial this back go back in time So I've, I, I, I've always found this kind of, it's a, it's a, you know, I think of it as a filter, but sort of quite nice sounding, quite musical sounding. But then we've also got, you know, we can add scratches to it and we will we'll, we'll start to hear these straight away. And we can add dust into the mix if we want. Uh, we can add electrical noise, wear, mechanical noise. Right. So, so, so we're sort of hearing all this, even when the actual the, the sort of you know the sequence that isn't playing. So let's 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 have a little bit of dust and a little bit of scratches going on. It's about there. You know, subtlety is everything. 
Now the best um, the best controller is this warp controller, which gives us that really kind of you know a, a sort of uh, a, a bit of a melted <laughs> a bit of vinyl that's been left in the sun. This kind of on the turntable, and we've got these different warp models. I think my favourite is, is generally this one. And we can have a sort of maximum 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 warp. And obviously we can combine that vinyl effect with our, you know, with our slowed. Um, now, if I listen to sort of, the, sort of the caretaker stuff, a lot of it sounds like this is a good wash of reverb on some of it. So there's some, there's some tricks with reverb we can do. So I set up a reverb on a send. Be quiet. Um, hold reverb. Uh, sort of, yeah, as well, yeah, sort of medium sized room, about 50% diffusion, and because it's on a send, quite a lot of mix. Let's give it a bit more mix actually. Because what we can do is then, you know, we can control the amount, yeah, we send to it. So let's send it nothing and then let's dial in the amount of reverb from nothing to maximum. And what we can also do, which is nice in a Reaper, is we can actually mute the main out of this track to the master so we only hear the reverb. So I'm just show you that. So we can untick this box, which basically says, yeah, send it to the master. So now all that we're hearing, even though this, you know, we're, we're seeing the level here, it's not going to the master, but it is going to the reverb so obviously you know we'll hear nothing if we if, if you said nothing to the reverb and then only hear the reverb or we can you know, mute that That's the spin down effect. Yeah. So I've, I've, I've got it set up as, a, as, a, as an envelope here. Um, which I don't believe was, was that really triggering? Maybe we weren't triggering it just extremely enough. Yeah, there, there we go. And we can get our original reverb back, get it back to the slower tempo. Point two is what I like. Yeah, really spooky. Right, what further mangling can we do uh, with some of the built in effects? Um, Let's look first at yeah, the next one loaded in. Our Reaper has this really nice effect called the Avocado Ducking Glitch Generator. And I, I mean, do I use this too much? Probably yes. Do I understand it? Probably not. Um, play, you know, this, this yes, yeah, so you just look at this, the, the repeat probability, set this high to get a, a bigger probability of repeats. Pitch modulation probability, that sounds good. Reverse probability, hell, why not? Let's stick them all on. Let's listen to what? So again, some nice glitches coming in there. And then and those glitches will persist even when we stop playing it. So I kind of like that. That's the avocado. Um, a ring modulator. If you really want to mess a sound up, ring modulator and reaper does come with a ring modulator or in the js effects i don't think i've messed with these parameters at all um so we can here have a bit of ring modulator let's knock off the avocado <laughs> you know we can have like you know essentially the original and then maximum dalek <laughs> having the glitches as well
Okay, weird, weird, weird. And then, of course, uh, distortion. Um, the Apple distortion, this is just comes with, I think, you know, sort of, sort of, sort of from GarageBand. Perfectly nice sounding um, distortion. That's a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? A nice sounding distortion. <laughs> If you know, if we really want to decimate the sound, um, but you know, as with any, as with many things, you know, little and often, if we <laughs> just load them all up. Um, this is just me so I can monitor the levels. This is just a sat, a sat sun. <laughs> that, um, that ring modulator really gives it a Dalek effect. Um, uh, of course, it's a bit hackneyed, but we can we can yeah <laughs> we can grab a, uh, a clip and, and reverse it, which is what which is what I've just done here. Uh, let's just pull this out, listen to it as on on, on its own. So this is just a section reversed with a with a spin down effect applied. This is really slow. This is point one speed played in reverse. Hear <laughs> that spin down effect. And again, we could hear just the reverse version, just the reverb. Kind of sounds kind of whale songy. That's not too bad, is it? So there's just one final effect um, I want to show. So what I've set up here is I've grabbed a sort of an extract of this jazz piece. Um, so let's so this so let's just hear let's, yeah let's set this up playing back at point nine so almost the original tempo. Oh, let's remove that effect. So that's original playing at point nine. Now below it, starting at the same point, um, we've got again the same sort of extract, but we're playing that back at point eight nine. So that's 0 0.01 um, slower than than like the top purple one, right? Uh, and let's. Uh, uh, sent to the master so we can hear it and mute the reverb just for the time being. And again, kind of sounds like the original still. And then number three, or reel three, this is set to 0.88. So this is 0 0.02 uh, slower than the original. And again, let's just, yeah, it's got a compressor. Let's just send it to the mast so we can hear that and mute the reverb. And again, even at 0.88, you know, still kind of sounds like the original. But what we can do is we can send this all playing off all at the same time. And at the beginning, they're all going to be in sync. But as this progresses, they're going to get more and more out of sync. So this is like doing basically a Steve Reich on it. So as, as if we're setting these up on, uh, you know, on sort of you know, identical tape players, except, you know, we're, we're, di we're deliberately dialing in um, the sort of uh, the, the different speeds. Bonkers. 
keep it we can and you know we can again we can have the same thing you know but then whoops but then only hearing those reverbs right Let's set the maximum reverb no master routing don't send to the master do send to the reverb maximum <laughs> weird and of course you know we could we, you know we could go crazy with these you know we can well i want that at point 0.5 i want this bit at i don't know you know 0.3 uh, and i want this playing back at you know i don't know sort of uh maybe you know two and a half times the original <laughs> very strange sounding we can probably call it a day there i mean i've just given you a sort of snapshot of some of the effects that i think you know if you wanted to sort of produce music you know you know in this style you wanted to take an existing piece of music and slow it up apply some effects to it um you know pretty straightforward to do that in reaper uh using i mean on the whole stock effects isotope vinyl used to be a free download uh so just 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 do a google search for that and you'll find a link to that i don't know whether it's still like a like a freebie probably probably so you so you could grab that that wolfram plugin is on the computer music uh dvd uh cover dvd so if you live in the uk or you live somewhere where you can get that magazine you you, know, you can grab that 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 plugin um but i mean you know the, 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 there's, there's a bunch of sound mangling plugins out there to play with um i remember a, a great one was transverb where you could like set up like two delays but different tempo delays i think even when you could reverse one or reverse both that would be super interesting to play with um if you wanted to do this live as part of a live performance that's quite interesting i mean you could probably do this in ableton live right because i know you, you know you, you can you can mess with timings in live pretty 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 easily um obviously the uh the korg sample the volker sample because that's got the, the that's got a speed control so it'd be super interesting to cut some loops up and and, and put them into the volker sample now the downside of the volker sample is you don't have that you don't have that memory you know you don't have a lot of capacity there um but you could certainly have, you know, little little clips of jazz or whatever whatever style you're interested in mangling and then just play with the speed control there. And there's also I know you can also reverse samples as well uh, with that button. So that could be a nice little tool uh, for, for sort of doing this kind of stuff live. Uh, you've got the SP404 of Roland, the Roland sample that might have some 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 some, some mangling possibilities. Um, but even just uh, 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 what is that wave editor I'm thinking about? Audacity. Oh yeah, I'm not recording the screen. <laughs> so, no. so Audacity is a is a really good uh, and again I think that's free uh, wave. Um, editing tool that has probably ways of uh, speeding up and slowing down wave files so, so so that's another sort of quick way of, of uh, doing it which you can load be loaded up into a sampler and then and then triggered live so lots of interesting possibilities anyway um any questions about this whole uh these shenanigans of slowing down jazz records you know uh throw them in the uh comments below the most fun way of doing this is go down to a charity shop find some old records of whatever um record them with a mic or, or like a zoom or your phone uh throw them into um a little daw of your choice and start and start mangling them that's the most fun way of doing it i mean it's a bit harder to do that now because we're sort of in lockdown so you know, face mask blah de, blah de, blah um but yeah or just you know raid your, raid your mum and dad's old record collection or your granddad's record collection <laughs> i'm just borrowing these records granddad <laughs> um don't break them all right, cheerio.